We don't really know very much about the organisms that live right around us. A lot of scientists, you hear about them going off to uh, tropical rainforests and doing their research. One of the things that we're interested in is the fact that a lot of the critters that are right in around us in our homes, we actually know very little about. Um, and so that's sort of what um, spiraled the start of this paper. So we did this citizen science mediated survey of camel crickets living in people's houses. So this was basically all our data came from citizens, from people who are interested in, in learning about these organisms in their home. These Asian camel crickets were actually by far the dominant species over um, native species in people's homes. And like in North Carolina alone, for example, um, over 90% of homes that we looked at of the camel crickets that people found in their homes, they were these Asian camel crickets. And unlike uh, a lot of the sort of common house crickets, these uh, camel crickets do not make any sort of chirping noise. So they're actually silent. So how common are they outside of the home? This was the work of a high school student who is a co-author on the paper. And he went and put a series of little pitfall traps in the yards of volunteers in sort of suburban Raleigh. What we found from these pitfall experiments was surprising in that in sort of more urban suburban Raleigh anyway, this non-native species was also the most common in yards. We actually didn't find any of the native species in these city yards. I think this kind of, I hope that this kind of study will empower people a little bit to realize that they can actually make scientific contributions. We couldn't have done any of this without all of those people who were interested and took the time to send us photographs, to send us specimens. This sort of gives a real example that people can see of really how little we know about the life right around us. You know, we don't have to go to these really exotic, faraway places to find scientific mysteries. Like, they're literally right living with us under our noses.